Hey, how you there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks. I'm putting a video series of videos I've been doing for a little while. I work over there, trout food and drink items, eat the stuff I drink, stuff. And, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that the time I'm doing this, I want to get this stuff done with because I'm starting to fog up my windows. I don't want to turn the heat on because, A, it's not that cold and I'm perfectly fine. But, B, I, it'll probably get picked up by the, the phone and then it'll make a noise. So, anyway, folks, I'm inside the truck. I'm wearing a Grody work shirt. That means that I was on my way to a place, presumably after work, maybe on my lunch break. And I found a thing to review. It's very much the case. I went to Walgreens after work, pick up a couple things. I found some stuff to review. So, what am I reviewing for you today? Boom! But they are sam <laughs> samurai chili flavored peanuts. Ha ha ha! I had to I had to get these because even though I'm not a huge peanut guy, I mean I'm I'm cool with peanuts. They're just not my favorite thing. Uh, they're <laughs> just samurai. I'm folks. I'm a bit of a weeb. You know, I'm not a huge weeb, especially not these days. But you know, I grew up enjoying anime. Asian culture and stuff like that. You know, I still love, like, Asian history and Asian food and all kinds of Asian stuff. Um, and I figured, what the hell, man. <laughs> These, and you know, yeah, we're just, there's no other rationale. It's just, just the naming. That's, that's how easy it is to impress me. Apparently, they're non-GMO peanuts. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't give two shits and a fuck about that. But I'm sure some people do. And if you do... Also, these are samurai peanuts, but they are made in Mexico. I'm doubting the authenticity of their samurai pedigree. What? <laughs> Trash. Yeah, whatever. Let's try some peanuts. Those smell like some chili peanuts. That's for damn sure. They got a. Uh, they got some pungency. Peanuts. Nothing but peanuts. No! Peanut! Where'd you go? Eh. No. Eh. Peanuts! Sorry, my hand's a little bit dirty, but... I work in an industrial factory, damn it. I clean them as best I can after work. It's like, no, man, look. I, you know, I deal with paints and solvents and stuff. This is the worst you get, trust me. Let's eat some peanuts. Very flavorful. Very flavorful. Like next to like wasabi peanuts that I've had, those might be the most flavorful peanuts I've ever had. <clears throat> they really, they really gave a nice little oomph. And here's the thing, <clears throat> there is a heat to them. It's really right at the back of your throat. But it's not, they're not overly hot, but you do get like, the closest thing I could explain them is like if you've ever had Fuego Takis, where, yeah, there's a little bit of a kick to them, but it's mostly just flavor. It's like that, you're just getting this big hit of flavor. That's very much the case with these. They, uh, they're, you know, like I said, there's just this really big hit of flavor. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm digging them, honestly. Um, and the nice thing is, even though you are getting hit with a lot of flavor, you're still tasting the peanuts, which I think is important. I mean, you know, if you want to flavor some peanuts, that's fine. But ultimately, I'd like to, you know, I'd like them to still taste at least somewhat like peanuts. And you're definitely still getting a peanut aspect to it. So much flavor. It's instant. As soon as it touches, you're done. I'm honestly surprised with these being from Mexico. And maybe there is one, but I <clears throat> certainly didn't see one when I was there. I'm kind of surprised they, you know, and I'll look into it maybe if I remember. But I would expect there to be like a chili lime version of these because not always, I just, you know, flavor combination typically is a uh, big over in Mexico. 
But these really kind of, I think, even though I'm not a huge chili lime person, I could see the, the you know, the citrus aspect of the lime working really well with these to kind of counter off the, uh, uh, the chili aspect. But yeah, these are really good. I like these a lot. Yeah. They're a nice little snack. And, you know, like I said, there's a little heat to them, but nothing abrasive. Um, nothing I don't think you couldn't deal with. But, but they're just really tasty. And the only thing would be, what with them being so flavorful, I don't know how many I'd want in one sitting. I think these are something where I, you know, go over there and seal them up, you know, a handful maybe throughout the day periodically. It would be kind of a nice little added, uh, nice little added kick. But, hell, I could almost see cooking with these. Not that I cook, but, you know, if I did, I could, I could almost see that working. Uh, it was a nice little oomph to a dish. But yeah, good. Old, I mean, look, I don't know how many Mexican samurais there are. Maybe a lot more than I'm aware of. Uh, but regardless, y'all made some, some damn fine, uh, peanuts. Like seriously, these are really good. Like I said, I'm not the biggest peanut guy in the world, but I'm down for these. Uh, now would I recommend them to somebody else? That entirely depends on what you want on your peanut experience. If you're like a honey roasted person, I don't know. These are going to, I mean, I like honey roasted peanuts. Uh, I don't know that these are going to be for you, but if you do like, you know, bold flavors, you know, if you like a little bit of heat, I think these are something you could go with. If you're somebody who, you know, you, you know, like I said, you already like, like the wasabi stuff, what have you. I mean, you're not going to get the same kick, but these are a nice little flavorful, you know, kind of different thing. And yeah, I mean, I do, I 100% think that these have an audience. I'm honestly a little bit surprised that I haven't heard of these before because these seem like something that could genuinely catch on. Like, I'm clearly not, like, down with the youth, as it were. Uh, well, with me being fucking 36 at the time I'm doing this now. Oh, so old. Um, but I can honestly see these being something that, like, I don't know, middle schoolers or high schoolers, you know, decide to make a fad out of or something like that. Because they'll just do wacky shit like that. I was a high schooler once. So long ago. So, so long ago. Before smartphones, folks. Before smartphones. But anyway, that's going to do it for me on that one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Two bandits for your folks. If you could have yourselves a truly, I mean, I, I bound it up, but samurai-tastic rest of your life. Because samurais are cool. I mean, granted, it kind of depends on what era you're talking about and the, you know, different sort of codes of honor and everything and what part of society, you know, they kind of fell in because at different points they were, you know, kind of upper tier and then other parts they were a little bit sort of mid-tier and stuff, so... Hey, samurai are neat. Uh, two final things, folks. Number one, try to bring some uh, positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do, you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Not the easiest thing in the world to do, even with samurai-like power, you know, powers and skill. Okay, maybe you're over there and, you know, you've got your, you know, your katana and your tanto your Hakama pants, your kimono, you're doing all the, the proper samurai stuff, right? I mean, you know, modern day might be a little bit out of place, but maybe you're just that into it. You do you. But even in this world that we live in, and, you know, you doing your samurai thing, it can be pretty difficult sometimes to not be an asshole because, well, folks, we live in a stressful world, even for samurai. So with all that said, you know, sometimes you might be in a situation where you're tempted to brandish your sword and go over there and cut down somebody who's insulted you, don't do that for so many reasons. What with the legality and everything? But instead, try to mitigate the level of assholes from our lives. Hopefully make the world a little bit better place for everybody, even Samurai. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to watch this review and actually go out and take some Samurai classes. I don't think that's what they're called, but, you know, you could go over there. I think it's, uh, is it Iido? Oh, I forget. But you could go over there and, like, the learn the, oh, the sword, uh, sword drawing discipline and stuff like that. 
you could go over there and study all that stuff. You don't even have to go over there and apply it in, you know, in a practical sense or anything like that, but still it can just be a great way to go over there and train yourself to focus, do all that good stuff. And then maybe you go over there and, you know, you're doing your modern day samurai thing and you deal with this one guy and he challenges you to a duel. And there's a boat involved and you get onto an island and you show up late and he shows up, he's pissed off at you, you beat him to death with a boat oar that you went over there and carved into a quick sword and something, 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 you're Miyamoto Musashi. Or conversely, you could not do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, but you could still go over there and, you know, hey, maybe take a martial arts. I personally love martial arts as a thing, even though I don't personally practice. I do a little personal training, just like flexibility and stuff and everything. But, uh, you know, but hey, check out, make sure you do your research, okay? Don't go to like Jim's fucking karate and Pizza Hut, all right? Don't do that. Do your research, find a good school, be surprised how much you can, you know, apply that in a modern day setting. But anyway, bye.